Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes It Up. I thought today I would do a video on kind of natural bronzing because truth be told, I'm very jet lagged right now and I feel tired, I feel a bit drained and I just feel like I need a good pick me up and sometimes there is just nothing better than a good suntan or let's face it, when you come back from holiday and you feel like you don't need as much makeup, but I'm gonna cheat it. So hopefully this video will have some helpful tips in for you guys on how to kind of bronze up in a very natural looking way. So we're avoiding anything too orange um, and the aim is just to look bronzed, a bit more sun-kissed, maybe like one to two shades darker than my complexion is right now, um, but I want it to look believable. So the first things first and that is skin prep. I have prepped my skin with some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Really, really love this. I have been at it with the oils and serum since I got back because flying so much recently has just been drying out my skin. Um, so I'm also gonna go in with a primer and I'm gonna use this one from Lancome. This is the Prep and Hydrate. So I'm gonna do this on top as well, just to add a little bit more moisture. So this one comes out kind of like a, I was gonna say jelly, jule, but this is nice because it gives a real, kind of hit the moisture. So if you have really dry skin, I really, really recommend this. I feel like lots of exciting things have been happening. I had a trip back to London, which was fun. Um, full coverage podcast, one beauty podcast of the year, which is amazing. Um, that was at the Johnson & Johnson Beauty Awards, which sadly was in London, just like two days after I had to leave. So sadly couldn't make it and nor could Lindsay but huge, huge thank you to anyone who has supported our podcast. If you listen, you leave comments, a huge, huge thank you. Um, I always leave a link to the podcast in the description box as well. If you haven't checked out already and you just wanna have a kind of girly chat, get a glass of wine, cup of tea, whatever you fancy, and come talk beauty with us. And we have a really lovely Facebook community as well. So all that will be linked in the description box. Now, the first thing I like to do if I am looking to bronze myself up in a natural way is go for something like a bronzing gel underneath. Now, this one is lovely. This is the Tom Ford one. Um, Stila used to do a really good one, I believe. I think that's one I've used in the past. And I like to just give my skin a little bit of, a little bit of a tint first. So this one comes out, it looks scary, but it's like a gel. So you can see as I rub it in, and I'm just gonna use this like I would do a moisturizer just to give my skin a subtle tint. Um, and this is wash off, so it would wash off the same way um, foundation would. But if I'm gonna go a little bit warmer, I feel like just, can you see on my forehead, it just gives that nice bronzy tint a little bit. And this is really, really nice as well, like I said, if you're kind of looking to make it all look very natural, very believable. And I'm gonna do my neck because I think the neck is the giveaway. But this is just very, very natural looking and very believable. And because my ears are out as well, I need to make sure I kind of take it into my ears. Kind of any skin that's exposed really, you wanna make sure this is really blended well into. So it's just a very translucent base. I'm layering up in the areas where I would naturally catch the sun. So each time I'm kind of rubbing into my fingers like this. And this is like where I naturally catch the sun. Um, for base today, I've decided to use my Tom Ford foundation stick because I always talk about this, but I don't think I show it enough in videos. Um, it's one of my favorite kind of really, really hydrating foundations that I find very buildable. Great for drier skin. Um, I have the shades here for Fawn and 6.5 Sable. Um, and these don't have SPF in, so it makes them really, really good um, when you're doing makeup. Um, for red carpet, etc., And I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna start with a mix. I'm probably gonna mix with these two shades. If I put them there, you can see, hopefully, there we go, you can see the colors better. And brush-wise, I think I'm going to use actually quite a firm brush and then buff out. So I'm taking this one from Chanel. This is the Fluid Powder Foundation. I'm just gonna see if I can get away with Fawn. So I'm gonna mix the two. So I'm mixing Fawn, and what was this called? Sable. And I'm just gonna start to go in with a little bit of coverage. So I'm just starting to go over what I've already done. And the reason I like this kind of brush is because I can really work it through my eyes, I can work it through my brows in a way that, again, you can start to see, it builds coverage really, really gradually, but it still looks like skin. 
and you can just see it really builds in a very beautiful glossy coverage and I'm going to take some of that down my neck as well because the neck will be the giveaway when you're trying to bronze up a little bit. So for concealer, I'm going to take this pencil. This is from Nude Sticks. This is the Nude Sticks Concealer Pencil in Light 3. And it's a little bit warmer than what I am normally. It's got a nice amount of yellow in. So I'm just going to use this under my eyes, which is a really nice creamy formula. So it's really nice and brightening. Give me a little bit of this and it blends. I find the Nude Sticks concealers blends really, really nicely into like a hydrating foundation. So anything that's like really, really moisturizing. And it's funny, I can actually feel how moisturizing um, all these products feel on my skin. I can feel like my skin's getting a nice drink, which sounds silly, but I feel like it is really making the difference. So a tiny bit of concealer. I find these are very, very buildable and they're good on breakouts as well. So a little bit of concealer. Now the fun part, which is kind of warming up the skin, bronzing the skin. And I have quite a mix of products to show you that I like in my pro kit and recommendations I have for bronzing. I do think for your first layer of bronzing, going in with a cream on top of the cream based kind of foundation really makes it look fresh. It makes it look believable. So for me, there's a couple that I love. Um, the first one, which I think is a classic, is the Chanel Soleil de Tan. This one is such a good one. You can see I've actually decanted some into a palette. Then I have this one, which is Pixie by Petra. If you have a slightly darker complexion, this one is kind of like their contour stick, but it's also quite nice as a slightly darker cream bronze. Um, the YSL Le, Sar Le Saharian, I think it's called, the Blur Bronzer, I love. I have that squished into my kit somewhere, but couldn't find it, unfortunately, today. Then the one I'm going to use today, I think, is Bondi Babe. This is another Nude Sticks one, which you guys know I just love the Nude Sticks formula of these. They are so, so good. So the colour is like that. So it's going to work really well with the colours I've already got. Um, another trick you can do if you can't get hold of, like, your perfect bronze shade is actually just get a, like, a, a satin finish uh, foundation stick that's like two colours deeper than your natural tone. If you're looking for like your perfect bronze shade, that's a really good tip to do if you can't find a bronzing stick in your colour. So I am just going to take a bit of Bondi Babe, Bondi Bay, Bondi Bay even, um, and I am going to go to now, which brush am I going to use? I'm going to go back in again with this one. So this is the Chanel one, which I just find is quite good for creams. I'm just using this to warm up and I'm actually going to use it through the hairline, especially at the top of my forehead, because that is where I naturally catch the sun. And I want to make sure that my nose is quite brown because I feel like when you tan, most people, the bridge of the nose actually catches the sun quite a bit. And I think the great thing about bronzing as well is you can kind of give yourself a bit of like a cheeky contour in a very, very believable way. Um, you know, Contour isn't something I'm massively into, but when it's kind of done in a very sculpted, structural way that's creamy and soft, um, that's how I tend to use it in my own work. So hopefully you can see now I'm starting to look much more sun-kissed and I'm taking it a bit more over my cheeks because again, when I catch the sun, I do catch it like around my cheeks. So for eye primer, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just gonna use a little bit of that over my lids and I thought I would use today the new Naked Reloaded palette. This is the one from Urban Decay. Um, it has like a fabric casing, which I'm not sure about, but the colors are great for this kind of bronzy tan look. Um, so I'm gonna start with Boundaries, which is this color. I'm gonna sweep that pretty much all over my eye. I'm actually gonna take it quite high up on my brow as well, because it's quite like an orangey tan hue. So that is going to make my brows and my eyes look a bit more sun-kissed as well. So I'm taking that quite haphazardly actually all over my lid. Kind of in quite a messy way, but you can see that sort of starts to bring in that more terracotta tan look. And I am buffing that up quite high to my brow. So normally I wouldn't go this high, but because the look I want is quite tan and quite sun-kissed. I'm actually going to go with that. So I'm just going in with that under the bottom lash line. And then literally just buffing that out 
really messily on the outer corner just so that it starts to look more like a suntan. And then next I'm gonna take the shade Burn, which is kind of like an orangey brown, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the lid. So there's a little bit of shimmer in that, which is quite pretty. It's a really, really nice shade actually. So this is the shade Burn. I'm using the same brush and I'm literally just dusting over just to give a bit more depth. Then I think the key now is just darkening the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna take this shade, this is another Nude Sticks pencil. This is Immortal, which is a really nice chocolatey shimmery brown. And I'm just gonna squish that into the lashes. All the way along the lash line. Kind of to there. And then you can always take a smaller brush and just go along and kind of buff that in. I'm just taking this Real Techniques one. And now I want to do lots of mascara. I feel like when I look tired, lots of mascara is where it's at for me. And I'm gonna bring in the famous Pamel. And the most important thing here is to curl your eyelashes like crazy. And I found them now. I was literally looking for them there. So I've got a pair of eyelash curlers. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna give my lashes a really, really good curl. I like to take a little bit of excess off of this when I use it. And I'm just gonna use that to lock my lashes into place before I put mascara on. And I feel like with this you can really position the lashes. So I want them quite fanned out and quite separated. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and then just give that a minute or two to dry. So the pomel already makes me look like I have mascara on, that's how amazing this is, but I'm going to leave that to dry and then come back to it. So in the meantime, I'm going to do some brows. And I think I'm going to do for brows a little bit of hourglass. This is the uh, Arch Brow uh, Sculpting Pencil, I think it's called. And I'm just going to do a little bit of filling in. But again, I don't want anything too much, so I'm just going to just kind of fill in a few gaps. And then I'm just pulling out a little bit on the side. So a little bit of brow and then I am going to use also the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel. I still take a little bit off just to make sure there's no extra and both the colours I'm using are soft brunette. And I'm just going to use that just to get a bit of texture. So brows on and now I can go back to my favorite bit which is kind of using more cream products. Um, again, I will put some mascara on in a second. But I wanted to show you some more of the nude sticks and this color, Sunset Strip, is so beautiful. It's like a really, really nice coral. And I feel like this is such a good color with a tan. And I'm actually gonna put quite a bit of this on. You can see it's like the perfect color with a tan complexion. And I'm actually gonna use a Chanel blush brush so that this stays quite solid. I kind of just want to diffuse the edges. I'm using quite high on my cheek as well because that's where I would catch the sun. And then you can use your fingers, just kind of tap everything in, just use the warmth just to press it all in. But I think the skin, it just gives that really nice kind of bronzy, caught the sun glow. So next I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. Um, again, this is a really, really nice formula. Just for a bit of glow. I find this quite a good neutral actually. It's not too gold, it's not too peach, it's not too pink. It's somewhere in between all of them. So I'm just going to tap that on and then I'm going to use a Real Technique setting brush. Just to blend that in. So highlighting done, let's go back to mascara. I am just gonna use Cheap and Cheerful, my L'Oreal Ecstatic. And I actually think I'm gonna do a tiny bit on the bottoms, but I just think this is such a nice, soft, healthy looking makeup. Now for lips, I think I'm actually just gonna use a lip gloss today because it's nice and easy, it's very low maintenance. So I'm gonna take this one from NARS. This is um, Polsian, I think it's pronounced. And this is like a nice pinky shade. I am also gonna take a bit of this lipstick from Zara. This is one of Zara's new lipsticks. And I've gotta say, I'm loving Zara's makeup, guys. And this is like a hotter tomatoey orange. 
and I'm going to just mix a little bit of that into the center just to kind of go with the color of the blush we used and this looks amazing full pigment as well but I think with that NARS glossy pink it's a really nice mix the only other thing I probably would do is I would maybe take the shade Angel Fire. So let's take a bit of that and just do a tiny bit of that on the inner corner of the eye. And I think, yeah, just that tiny touch of shadow on the inner corner, I think is the final kind of brightening touch. It was fun to film again and to play with makeup and to hang out with you guys. So I hope you like this video. Um, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see more of. Um, like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Harry Makes Up because I am doing more makeup tutorials over there and doing them on lives and Insta stories. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe. Um, I know with YouTube, it's making it harder sometimes for everyone to see the videos. So hitting the notification bell as well is a really good way to make sure you never miss a video. But yeah, that's the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for more.